Okay. So we go from Hunter Henry to someone who is being drafted one spot ahead of him, Hayden. And that's uh, David Njoku. Right off a new contract. Um, tight end 18, 150 overall as he's being selected. And we're way above ADP on him as well as our tight end 14. Um, okay. A few notes for me. Because his archetype is like boomer bust in a lot of ways. Like he's an explosive downfield player. I mean, 35% of his targets last season were 10 plus yards down the field. And then he has this yak element on the tight end delays or screens that he averaged seven yards after the catch per reception last year. That's fourth highest among all tight ends, but it's either like the screen game, the 10 plus yard game, and there's really not that much in between. Yep. Do you think that's fair? Totally fair. Um, but he is still pretty young, and they gave him so much money. Austin Hooper leaving is the biggest part of the equation here. Austin Hooper leaves uh, 4.2 expected touchdowns behind. Uh, this offense could even just get a little bit better than it was last year. And David Njoku was 32nd in routes run per game. So something had to happen here for him to at least get in this conversation. When I put on the film, I always knew that David Njoku is the freakiest of athletes. And there was one of these plays where he runs for about an 80 yard touchdown. That's super impressive and super rare. Is, is he physical enough to be in there and 11 personnel and block a little bit, which light, uh, tight end spot is he going to play in, in 12 personnel? And what I noticed is the dude's pretty physical too. Like I think that he can be in every down tight end and i think that's why they got rid of austin hooper and paid david njoku so much money is they he was actually getting in there and blocking a decent amount here so i don't think he's going to come off the field too much and he has all of the ability to rip off some some crazy plays that only a couple tight ends in the league could do look at this play that does not look like a tight end running out there in space so uh he's never totally proven it. he's always been a fantasy tease but if there's ever a year to bet on it, it's this year when the the wide receiver group looks pretty bad outside of amari cooper so they're probably betting on him to be on a, probably the second or third target getter on this team. Yeah. He, he is the anti Dalton Schultz. <laughs> like, oh yeah. They, oh, they, yeah. they are the opposite styles of, of tight ends. He is maybe that second contract tight end that emerges, you know, the one who is starting to be more physical. I think he was maybe the youngest player in the league when he entered it or close to it and, you know, just developing and learning the game. But these special Dog. moments, I mean, Spiked week at the very least you're getting out of him. And again, he's going as the tight end 18 right now. I highly doubt that stays the same. Who even knows what the quarterback situation is, is going to be. Maybe he has Jacoby Brissett for the entire year, but um, these big plays that he creates again, 10 plus yards on the field and those targets or taking screens and manufactured touches. And again, we know no one loves multiple tight end sets more than Kevin Stefanski, but I would say like this might be the least investment that they've had in the position outside of the number one that they've had in a while. And then at the wide receiver spot, like we said, it's Amari Cooper and who knows what else, like Donovan Peoples-Jones, Anthony Schwartz, David Bell, and that's about it. So there are no excuses for David Njoku to not have a massive season this year. Players like David Njoku are why I'm passing on like a lot of players, like the, the Darren the Waller in fourth. Why I'm passing on on Fryermuth is I want to get back. I want to get deeper into this uh, tight end two discussion. The David Njoku profile is the exact Josh Norris profile, like a late developing athletic yep. tight end that obviously uh, eventually takes the leave. I think that he could easily be a Njoku this year. Yeah, it's it's why I'm having four spots ahead of ADP. 